Welcome to Charts Today Energy. My name is David Linton and today's edition for Tuesday the 4th of December comes to you from London. We start by looking at uh, the uh, oil mix. We're seeing here Brent actually just looking stronger. Just a quick look at the macro uh, position um, before we go there. Is, uh, the dollar is still falling so that's helping uh, a little bit. The euro is actually up and uh, the dollar is sinking against the yen. So we're seeing uh, short-term dollar weakness creeping in, which is helping commodities. Uh, looking at um, uh, the sterling, we're actually up against the dollar this morning, up slightly against the euro uh, and against the Swiss franc, we're rising as well. So uh, we are just seeing um, quite an improvement there. US markets were quite strong last night, stock markets recovering, so the sentiment's improving overall there. Uh, and if we take a look at uh, gold, uh, we're seeing gold looking very strong this morning, up another two thirds of a percent, and, and really in a new uptrend. And uh, US 10 year yields, uh, the bond market's just falling in the US on improved stability there, but we're back below the 3% on bonds. Coming back to uh, energy, looking at all this data coming to you from Thomson Reuters Icon, uh, looking at the, this is my weekly, my 1%, 1.5%, my daily, my 60 minute chart, and um, then I'm down to uh, 60 minute uh, cloud chart and one minute uh, and one minute point in figure for target. So this is really essentially my long term, my medium term and my short term picture if you're seeing this for the first time. Uh, so Brent crude bouncing on the cloud on the uh, long term chart, finding uh, a similar support level on the point in figure charts. So uh, looking stronger there. The RSI gave a good signal yesterday, which we talked about. And if we look at the 60 minute uh, chart for crude oil, uh, we see here we've got upside targets 64, 71. So as, as much as 14% uh, upside all the way back to $70 if we can get there. We are also of course heading into the stronger time for crude oil and get into the new year or into the stronger quarter. Q1 normally to, um, needs to, uh, is normally a strong time and so we're edging forward and creeping ahead. We're seeing the uh, correlations with the dollar is negative. Here the 60 minute chart is bullish. The one minute chart shows uh, a surge this morning. We're hanging on to those gains. That's something we haven't seen for a while. Normally we, te we tend to go up in the morning and then give up the gains, but this morning we're, we're holding on to them. And we've got a good target on the one minute chart, um, some 10% higher at $68. So yesterday's jump and, and then the move higher on top of that jump has confirmed the buying. Uh, so it does look like uh, we might well have seen a bottom there. WTI finding support on the cl cloud as well, um, on the long term chart. Uh, and giving an RSI signal. So starting to look pretty bullish all round for crude in terms of recovery. Uh, and we're seeing here upside targets, $54, $56. Uh, dollars. And uh, we're seeing here, again, holding on to our gains this morning. And we're just activating that uh, upside target to $60, 12% higher with, with the move this morning. We've just moved higher than that high. That's the significance there. We've moved higher than the high that we saw yesterday. There was the move, and now we're moving higher this morning morning activating that uh, target. US Nat Gas uh, looking pretty strong, holding on to its uh, most of its gains. Uh, interesting looking at the weekly chart, we see those massive candles of a few weeks ago where we just jumped on US Nat Gas. This ascending triangle really is building, so it's looking pretty strong. We've got upside targets on the um, 60 minute uh, chart to 453 and some quite good support here now but we still do have this downside target of 411 and if we go to the one minute chart which is where we're going to see um, the shorter term trends and targets we do have 412, 392 those downside targets are activated so they do hang over us but clustering to the upside 454 that's three three and a half percent higher does look like those uh, short term targets might just win. Keep an eye on those one minute charts. Looking at heating oil, uh, we see here uh, heating oil uh, pushing higher with crude as we might expect. Arbob uh, also good upside targets. So um, most of the exchange product, traded products in the US looking pretty strong. Coal is down half a percent this morning. We had very good gains yesterday, but we've given up a lot of that. On the one minute chart, we, we can see here we've got this upside target of 83, but we're pulling all the way back. We did we did meet these targets all the way down, so we if this gives us another thrust opportunity, it will be interesting to see. Looking at the 60 minute chart, we do still have this upside target to 92.94. That's active. Uh, so a key thing was we were given this target, that was met, 
You really can't ignore this. Of course, if you're looking at this data on your Trayport screen, if you're running Trayport into Updata, you'll have slightly different targets. Uh, but we see coal just falling away a little bit there this morning. Uh, Richards Bay also, um, obviously not as liquid, but also uh, a very similar picture as you might expect. Emissions, uh, we're seeing here... Um, we are looking. Uh, we have been looking stronger of late. We're back into the um, a medium term bullish and um, above the cloud on the sh uh, the short term 60 minute chart. But uh, a lot of targets in different directions. Really, the best thing for the emissions is just to keep an eye on that one minute chart, and the picture becomes a little bit clearer. We've got a downside target. We've all below that 2025 level, 1925 is the next level. So we'll see one uh, euro fall away. Uh, but at the moment, it can go either way. We're just waiting for one of those targets to be activated. We probably favour just that downtrend at the moment, and we're seeing the price just deteriorating away um, this morning. Taking a look at MBP, we're down 2.5% on front month. So we are seeing uh, some significant falls here. Again, uh, the, the correlation with crude is pretty high, but uh, this morning we're just uh, bucking that trend. Uh, so uh, we're seeing we are just falling back, but no clear targets to to uh, play for at the moment. And TTF, much the same picture uh, we're seeing here again. Um, we do have a downside target of 2401. We have some longer term downside uh, targets. It does look a little bit worrying that TTF is just coming off here. And of course, we are medium term bearish on that daily chart. Looking at the one minute targets, Notice how that target to 2440 was given a met. There's nothing new. We have to just wait um, for the price action to play out. Again, your trade port screen may well be giving you targets. Uh, Italian gas we're seeing um, uh, is down 1.6%. German power down 1.4% this morning. So we are just seeing a, a deterioration here as well. And if we take a look at the uh, one minute chart, 50 uh, euro 60 is the target at the moment. That's 2% lower. We do have one for 54.80 as well, but we'd need to break the uptrend. A couple of upside targets. Power could go either way. Short term, it's really hard to call. We are range bound um, on that short term chart. Looking at um, a Nordic power looking pretty much uh, in an uptrend here, down uh, just under 1% this morning, but looking better than German power. And if we look at Czech power, uh, we're down 1%. So uh, again, on, on your trade port screen with a high liquidity, you may well have slightly different targets. And Polish power is down 1.6%. And again, this is the exchange traded product. Again, we're seeing targets to the downside. That's it for today. Until tomorrow, happy charting. See you then.